So what we have here is a nice solid virgin queen. She was just getting ready to come out the cell. And we're gonna hold on for a little bit because we have another hive over there which may or may not be queenless. I gotta get some attendant bees in there with her. There was one more hive I wanted to go through while I had a virgin queen in hand. I had no reason to believe that this hive was in need of one, but our Mesopotamia hive, our feral hive from last summer, always tended to have surprises when I opened the lid. So the last thing I'd want to do is dispose of a queen, although I'm not allowed to, um, before checking this last hive out. Starting to dry out. Hopefully not gonna go wild with a crazy comb like all these bees seem to be doing. Take that back, they're gonna do crazy comb. Although the plastic foundation is actually covered in beeswax, one of our viewers suggested the idea that adding more beeswax might be the answer. One can assume that in the manufacturing process they use a minimal amount, or at least that they can get away with using when marketing it, so adding wax, well, it's worth a try. It would have to wait until the supers were not on the hive, though. So, it's time to go down below. Here we have a nice solidly packed time. I'm not sure we have a smoker that's smoking. Considering the season it is, I want to see more of the brood. I want to see eggs. I see jelly. I see eggs. Okay. At least one of these hives is really doing its thing correctly. Actually, I shouldn't be so pessimistic. Our two new packages are doing wonderful. Our feral hive is doing wonderful. Two original nukes, which last year seemed to supersede their queen every time the, the sun rose, are more or less doing the same thing this year that they did last year. Going into supersede mode all the time. Or swarming, although I have yet to have anybody tell me they've actually seen a swarm come from these hives. Bees are bees. They're going to do what they want to do. Doesn't mean they didn't, though. They're going to want to multiply. They're going to want to reproduce. If that urge to split and swarm is indeed genetic, then that ultimately will be the predominant trait. Simply because that's the ones that will reproduce themselves. As a beekeeper, that's a pain in the butt. With the bees, it's a great thing. This is more or less a happy hive. Not happy with me, but a happy hive. Girls. The infernal buzzing you hear are still bees that came from that first hive that follow me all the way down the track. Ah, oh, they just don't ever seem to want to give up. This hive actually was pretty mellow, and our packages are pretty mellow as well. What do you do with a virgin queen? I could, I could release her back to that hive and trigger a swarm. Or I could 
throw in an observation colony and see what happens. I was pondering the idea of possibly killing two birds with one stone. Specifically, that first hive was quite populated. I think I'm going to do the lather of the two. I think I'm going to set up a, uh, a resource nuke. Throw a couple of frames in there and see what, see what they do with this boom. This may be a very short-lived experiment. We'll see. But we're going to put some bees in here and that virgin queen. We'll come back in a week or so and see if anything interesting happened. We need to put some brood in there. Clean in the corner for now. So what will happen here is any field bees that come over with these frames will return to the original hive. What will remain is the nurse bees, which hopefully will take care of the queen, we'll see. So for a while there isn't going to be a field force, which is why in addition to brood frames, we also put a, a resource frame in there so that uh, they would have something to chew on, so to speak. So we'll come back here and we'll take a look at this uh, in a while. And hopefully what's happened is the, the brood that's in there that's capped right now will have hatched and become nurse bees. And um, the field bees obviously will have left, but what had been the nurse bees will move up to being field bees. If we come back next week and, you know, it's just kind of dead in the water or not doing anything, we'll just remove those frames and, and put them back in the other hive. Best case scenario is we come back next week and uh, find some eggs. A resource hive can be a very useful tool. For example, if you do lose a queen and you have a mated queen in a small nuke, then you can move her into that colony. Uh, also, if nothing happens, then that colony can be allowed to grow, so the nuke can then become a new hive. But yeah, it's up to the bees. Now we're just going to see what happens here. Else, we'll reduce the population of the hive that I believe is right about to swarm. Uh, if that version does anything, I don't know. Find out in a week or so. so.